go on a learning adventure today. To unlock our learning adventure, let's go ahead and clap and count the syllables in our special word. Where should we go? What should we see? Do you want to go on an adventure with me? Amazing! Our special word for today is geometry. Let's say it together. Geometry. Geometry is the study of shapes and how they work together in our world. Let's go ahead and clap the syllables in our word geometry. G -a -e -tree. Let's go ahead and tap it. G -a -e -tree. Now let's count it on our chin. G -a -e -tree. There are four syllables in our special word geometry. Wow, we're at the park today. Did you know the park is full of shapes? Shapes are an important part of geometry. Let's go on a shape hunt at the park. I'll start us off. Just repeat after me. Going on a shape hunt. I know my shapes. Getting so smart. I'll find a square. There it is. It has four same sides. Let's make a square. That's a square. Going on a shape hunt. I know my shapes. Getting so smart. I'll find a circle. There it is. It has one round line. Let's make a circle. That's a circle. Going on a shape hunt. I know my shapes. Getting so smart. Let's find a triangle. There's a triangle. It has three sides. Let's find a triangle at the park. Wow, the children are playing in a sandbox that's shaped like a triangle. Going on a shape hunt. I know my shapes. Getting so smart. Let's find a rectangle. A rectangle has two short sides and two long sides. There it is. Let's make a rectangle. Wow, that little boy is cutting rectangles out of paper. Going on a shape hunt. I know my shapes. Getting so smart. Let's find a star. There's a star. The star has five points. Wow, the soaps are being made into star shapes. Going on a shape hunt. I know my shapes. Getting so smart. Let's find an octagon. There's an octagon. Wow, an octagon has eight sides like a stop sign. Look at the children and how they're making a square by putting triangles together just like a puzzle. Let's make a pattern with our shapes. We're going to make an A, B pattern, but we're not going to use letters A and B. That just means that we're going to use two different things and they are going to go one after the other, just like that. In this pattern is also an A, B pattern, but we're not using the letters A, B. We're going to make a pattern with an octagon and a square. Octagon square, octagon square, octagon square. What comes next? That's right, it's an octagon. Fantastic. Patterns are found so many places in our world. Here's a project that you can do at home with your grown-up's permission. All you need is toothpicks and marshmallows and you can build shapes. All right, let's make a square. I know a square has four same sides. That means the sides are all the same. They are equal. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start with my first side. There's my first side. 
my marshmallow is all going the same way, I go and make my second side, making sure my marshmallows are going the same way. All right, I'm going to add my third side. Here we go. Ooh, it gets a little tricky. That's okay. Learning is a challenge sometimes, but that's great. All right, and now I need another marshmallow. Okay. All right, I have three sides. Did I make sure my marshmallow is going the same way? I need to fix that. That's okay. That's part of learning. All right, let's go ahead and add the last side. Here we go. Gonna stick that toothpick right in there and stick that toothpick right in there. And we have a square. All right, let's make a triangle with our marshmallows and our toothpicks. I've never made a triangle before, so this should be an interesting experience. Let's give it a try because that's what learning's all about. All right, I go ahead and put my marshmallow on the first toothpick. And add another marshmallow. Now, there's my first side. I know triangles have three sides. So I'm going to add another marshmallow, just like that. And that needs a marshmallow too. I'm gonna make sure my marshmallows are going the same way. And I need to add the third side because triangles have three sides. Sometimes they are equal and sometimes they are not. What makes a triangle is that there are three sides and three corners. All right, there's my triangle with toothpicks and marshmallows. That's a fantastic project to do at home and you can make all types of shapes, even rectangles, octagons, and if you want to be super tricky, you can make cubes. Verb can make your body move, hurrah, hurrah. It tells some things that we can do, hurrah, hurrah. We jump, we spin, we roll, we fall. It's action words that move us all. If you need an action, verbs are the words. Have you heard? Can you find the verb in this sentence? Here we go. We ran to the playground. Which is the word that tells us what we do? That's right. We ran. And ran is an action word. Let's go ahead and run right in place. When we run right in place, we do not move. You can even do it sitting down like this. All right, let's go. Run, 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 run. That's an action word. That's a verb. I've had so much fun today learning all about our action words, which are verbs, and learning all about shapes. I'll see you next time when I teach to your super learning strengths, one child and family at a time.